Coming up, I want to talk about the unconventional way of building any business. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co, recording from my house today. I want to do something different. I want to just do it whenever I can. I want to do more of these videos coming up in the new year. Today, as we're starting to plan out for the new year, I really want to talk about something I'm very, very passionate about. And I think the theme of 2017 is going to be all about connect. And how do I connect with more individuals in the new year, really help them grow, really help myself grow at the same time as well. And one of the things that I've been really focused on lately is building an audience. And this is the unconventional way of building any business. It's exactly the same process that I use to build my particular business. Look, in 2013, when I started this podcast, if you told me three years down the road, I'd be doing an agency that's doing phenomenally well, that has gotten seven of our clients featured by Apple, I'd be like, get out of here. I'm not doing any agency. But it's because of the audience that I built that trusted me that they told me that maybe the agency route is the best route for me to build a business out of. And that's what I've done. And I'm using a lot of the things that I've learned to build other types of businesses through the mastermind or through digital products and hopefully through events next year. Not hopefully, through events next year, period. It will happen. But so I want to talk to you about this, about building your audience. I don't think there's an excuse out there. You shouldn't feel like I can't talk. I can't write, I can't do any of this stuff. Use whatever your strengths are and build an audience out of it. So I'm gonna tell you, give you a couple examples. I wrote everything on a little <laughs> index card to help me with my notes. Forget this, right? So JLD, John Lee Dumas, one of the guys I really admired when I was first coming up, he started a podcast. Really was a not did not have a name in the podcast space started a podcast interviewing some of the people really well known and now has built a multi-million dollar business out of it through digital courses and now he has physical products. He even did a podcast cruise. He's done multiple businesses because all he did was interview some of the business people asking them the same exact questions. And that's exactly what he did. I want to talk about another person. So that's on the business realm. But get this, Miranda Sings. If you're not familiar with her, she's a famous YouTuber. She's now turned her YouTube channel into a Netflix show. A Netflix show, okay? Get out of here. That's really cool. And for those, I know you're like, all right, let's talk about people in the app space. I'll talk about Nathan Berry. He actually wrote an app handbook, app design handbook. That's how he made a name for himself in the app space, mind you. And now he runs a convert kit email marketing software that I personally use as well. And now he has a SaaS business all because he has an audience that he can build multiple businesses off of. Now you're thinking that's kind of shady, right? Like an audience, you're just using your audience. No, I'm not. You start with the mentality of actually serving that audience first and learning from them. And for me, all I did was interview some of the people that I really admired in the app space and really ask them questions that I personally have, right? And now I've grown that and use that skill set and that knowledge that people have shared with me with PR, with ASO, with Apple features, put my own spin on it, adapted what they taught me, and then I've been able to, to achieve some success out of that. Look, I believe we live in the greatest area era of our time. If you didn't listen to episode 500, go check that out. It's a talk I gave at Tradecraft. We live in the greatest era right now where you can literally pick up a webcam, talk in your living room, and build an audience. And here's why I think you, you have to build the audience. The way to do it and the right way to do it, because I think too many times we, we think about the audience and we say, how can I, Steve Young, or how can you, whoever, you're li whoever you are, teach people. And I think that's the wrong way of doing it. I think the way to do this is to interview people, interview your heroes, interview people that you really admire in this space and build the audience that way. Because I'll bet you the same exact questions that you have, your audience has too. And just ask them questions that you specifically have. And my questions, if, you if you're an early listener, they have 
sort of transformed, right? Early on, it's just all about apps and how do I make it in the app space? And what did you do to market? Now I hardly talk about that stuff. And I talk about like hiring. How do you hire a team? How do you really grow a company? These questions have sort of changed as I've sort of changed and transformed and grown up as a business as well. And the audience still is with me and it's grown. Even though I started creating content less in 2016, the audience has remained the same and it's even grown than 2015. So really, Build an audience of your own. And here's what I want you to do. Start, email somebody that you really admire in the space and ask them to inter- if you can interview them. And you're gonna take that content, that interview, and change it into whatever your skill set best, pers- best fits. For me, it's an audio form, video form. But if it's for you, you're a designer, create an infographic out of it. Create something design oriented. Or here's some really great quotes that I got from our conversation that you can use on Instagram, Mr. Influencer, right? That's, you can do that as a designer. If you're, if you're a coder, create a website. And like, here's the top cool lessons that I learned where it's just a really cool website or learn how to write, like really just jot it down and take notes. It's gonna be the best thing you've ever done. And there's no excuse for it anymore. You can't say, look, I don't like talking, I don't like to design, I don't like to write. You can do it in any medium you possibly want. We have Snapchat, we have Instagram, we have so many different platforms out there for you to really build that audience. And I'll tell you the last thing about why it's so important to interview people and really learn from them. Because a lot of times we, when we're looking to connect with different people, what do we do? We ask them for coffee, we ask them for lunch. Listen, if you really wanna talk to a famous person, to a big time influencer, their number one asset is time. They don't have time to sit down with just one person. But if you can interview them and say, well, all the questions I'm gonna ask you, you're gonna really reach a ton more people. And listen, it doesn't have to be huge in the beginning, right? But it's gonna reach a ton more people, then that lets them scale their knowledge and whatever questions you have of them, they can then reach a greater audience out of that. So you can really sit down with some amazing people just by framing it from a coffee rather than a coffee to an interview. And like I said, we've done multiple different types of businesses and there've been others who built multiple different types of businesses just because they had an audience and just because they framed it and really learned from others and then built up an audience and then went on to build different types of businesses. So go out there, the call to action that I have for you is to email somebody you really admire in whatever industry you want and say, can I interview you? And I'm gonna turn our interview into content, either infographic, website, blog posts, whatever, so that you can reach a greater audience. It's the unconventional way of building a business. We live in the greatest era right now, and it's a great way to build any business. As you're starting to think about 2017, where that may take you, well, go interview your heroes. It can take you to tremendous places, places you never knew existed, just by interviewing some of your heroes. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye.